All right, so you may have noticed that the USFL has dropped a bunch of new rules over the past week. You know, like it was like a week or so ago. Forgot to talk about that. We got to need to talk about that because I have no idea what's going on outside. I think there's birds outside. It is one in the morning. I'm not sure why there are birds outside at one in the morning, but whatever. Um, just some some of the rules like there's some unique stuff in here like the three point try on extra points and everything like that like you have like a one point try or a two point try or a three point try you know the fourth and twelve thing that carried over from the AAF and the XFL clock stopping out the first down in the second and fourth quarters and a best of three shootout in overtime which is the biggest one for me I know there's plenty of others there's like so many different rules that they've either been adopted from the NCAA or the AAF the XFL the NFL you know for the USFL this season and I'm not going to go over all of them what I will say is is that you know speaking of the XFL new logo yeah, new logo, Mega Rapino, you know, is like apparently getting all uppity about it, but I don't think it's going to go anywhere because, again, like a lot of these logos and stuff like that, like it's a terrible looking logo, by the way, but it's a logo that seems very similar to, you know, apparently one of these, um, um, I believe it's a company owned by Sue Bird, but I mean, it, uh, again, I don't think anything's going to come out of that. Uh, I know people were talking about that. Um, this past couple of days as well with the new logo and everything and, and again the new logo for the SFL does not look very good it does not look very good um, I don't know speaking of the XFL again you know um, remember you know Fox was you know the guy is carrying the US or out of the XFL in its 2020 comeback they basically put the announcers there you know um, like they had Kurt Menefee and Joel Klatt, you know, both of whom are pretty good. They're putting them on the USFL. I'm not sure who the other guys are for the USFL at this time. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm unsure of what's going on here at this moment. Um, and then, you know, you got the whole New Cities thing. Um, now, it hasn't completely been confirmed yet, but... Uh, Terrell Buckley, he's going to be part of the new Orlando franchise, which means Tampa is gone. Uh, Tampa will be not joining the XFL in 2023. They'll be gone. Los Angeles and New York will probably be gone. Uh, but San Antonio, Las Vegas, Orlando, all three of those cities could be three new cities at, for the XFL in 2023. Now, uh, I do have some problems with this, however, because, again, there is a um, situation where there's three Texas teams, and they have, one of them is Houston. Houston, um, The Houston Roughnecks are still technically in the league. I believe it's either the Roughnecks. You know, they're still technically in the league, and, um, yeah, it's going to be a Houston versus Houston thing. Not, not ideal. Not ideal, I'll say that not ideal of a situation at all for the XFL and you know if things go the way they go I, I can assure you, you know, we're gonna have a great battle come 2023 you know but I'm not sure what the rest of the stuff is going on right now uh, again the USFL rules most of them seem pretty interesting most of them are carryovers as well you know like I, I didn't even get into everything about the new rules and stuff like that and you know all sorts of different things are going on with players getting signed and cut and signed and cut like the supplemental draft went it came and went and now players are getting signed and cut and cut and signed and, and you know I mean everything in between so um, yeah I'll see you all in two no wait, not two weeks. In a week, yeah, in a week, we'll be talking. USFL week one, previewing week one in full as everything is finally set to go for the 2022 spring USFL season. So I'll see you all then. I'll see you guys on Sunday, this weekend in the football, 
and the NBA wrapping up its regular season and everything like that. So um, see you later this weekend.